At BTSR, we want we use one knot to tie up the horses. It's a, it's a slip bowline. Uh, whether you're tying up in the corrals or up to a tree, there's different ways to get this, this knot to work. I have JD here, and I'm going to tie him up in the corrals. Usually, you want to tie a horse up as high as you can. And here's how we do the knot, okay? I have a long lead rope here. It's a cotton lead rope, and I'm going to take it and take it around from the right to the left on this upright, okay? For this knot, I'm going to actually have to have the horse fairly close, and it's going to take a little bit of practice to get him where it's very, where you're going to have a perfect knot when you let release of it. Uh, your horse has to have about two foot of rope when we're, we're putting up for the night or for eating lunch and going away from for any, any matter of time. So I bring him up to about a foot and a half, to about a foot. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this left half of the rope just go. Uh, human nature is going to make you want to actually hold on to that rope. What you're going to do is take that right rope and make a loop with it. And I'm going to lock it with my right hand, okay? So I have a loop. Okay, just like a bowl. Instead of grabbing onto this rope, I'm going to resist. What I'm going to do is take my left hand, put my hand through the loop, and grab onto that rope. I do not grab onto that left hand rope unless it's through that loop. Okay? What I just did there, and I skipped through, is I grabbed that loop, brought it, brought, grabbed the rope, brought it up through the loop, and I chunked it over my right arm. Okay, that's the first step. You're not done yet. Again, you're going to want to grab onto this, this rope right here. Let it loose. I'm going to take my left hand one more time, put it through the loop, grab onto that rope, and I'm going to pull it out a little bit. I'm going to make a bit of a loop. To tighten this knot up, all I'm going to do is let loose of my right hand and grab onto the rope that the horse is attached to and pull back on it. Okay? And this finishes the rope. I have two, two and a half feet right here. This is enough where he's got plenty of room to go to sleep, to move around if he's uncomfortable but not so much that he can get in trouble or start his own project. That's how we tie him up here at BTSR.